Good afternoon. I am Dr. Derek J. Malachik, adjunct faculty in Applied Little Brass at Iowa Western Community College. For this section, we will be discussing the first of the etudes, prepared etudes for euphonium. This etude can be found out of the Arbenz book, which is a standard book for repertoire and practice for trumpet, trombone, and euphonium. This particular edition was edited by Alan Raff and written, adapted for trombone by Charles Randall and Simone Mancia. The etude that we will be reading is an excerpt from the Fantasy and Air with Variations by Vincenzo Bellini, adapted by Arben himself. The theme for this etude begins at the third line from the bottom, if you were using the Alan Raff edition. There is a repeat, and this is crucial because the repeat is not marked in this book at all. The repeat is after you play the B flat eighth note, or the B flat half note, nine bars from the end. You have an eight bar rest and a half, and a half rest right after that. Put the repeat sign between the half note and the half rest. I know it is not the end of the measure, but the reason why you need to do that is because of the pickups that occur in this piece. And the repeated section begins at a pickup bar itself. Items to watch on this particular etude. Articulation, there are not a lot of articulation markings, so everything must either be played tenuto or just slow in general. Also, be mindful of the turns. This is something that as euphonium players, we tend to get a little bit lazy with just because we have valves. Make sure you blow through those. One way that I would approach the turn is like this. But make sure you complete the turn in one full beat. Use, go from D to E flat, down to C sharp, and then D before jumping up to the G. I'm going to repeat the performance for you one more time. In preparation, I do recommend playing this etude a little bit slower than as marked on your NMEA sheet. The tempo as prescribed by Armitz is marked at quarter note at 76. However, the Nebraska Music Educators Association has prescribed that the tempo for this particular etude be marked at quarter note equals 88, so a little bit quicker, which may make those turns a little tougher. Watch counting on this one in particular, especially since we have the pickups. Also, make sure to breathe three bars from the end at least, so that you have enough air to play the 16th note runs without breaking the phrase. I will now demonstrate this etude for you on my euphonium. Oh, I wanted to thank before I start playing. If you are using a, a non-compensating instrument like mine, watch the upper register. The upper register tends to be a little wacky, and so for long notes, uh, quarter, uh, half notes in particular, use vibrato. Use a lot more lower jaw vibrato to lower the pitch, more upper to raise the pitch. Faster vibrato versus slower vibrato. Vibrato is key to playing the euphonium and is one of those things that euphonium players need to be conscious of.
Thank you very much, and I wish you the best of luck on your audition, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.